What's good, YouTubers and YouTubettes? This is JB Sports back again with another one. It's crazy what get headline news in the sport of boxing. This Tyson Fury story about what he's demanding to take on Alexander Ustik, a fight that will be for undisputed, the biggest fight to be made in the sport of boxing. Tyson Fury, aka the Gypsy King, is asking for 500 million to fight Alexander Usyk. And he's giving whoever wants to put up the money seven days to come up with the money or the Gypsy King will happily retire. Absolutely ridiculous. Everybody taking this story and running with it. You know, he was on Talk Sports talking about it. You got boxing columnists like Michael Benson talking about it, Michael Carpenter talking about it, Dan Raphael talking about it. You know, everybody is giving this story credence. And the story is not a story that deserves credence. This is an absolutely ridiculous story. A non-serious by Tyson the Gypsy King Fury. This guy's not serious about fighting all his Anna Usyk, or is he, or, or maybe he's just trolling everybody. Maybe he's gonna settle for, you know, 80 million to fight Usyk. Joshua made 75 million, Usyk made 75 million. They rematch, 80 million should be able to satisfy Tyson Fury to take on Alexander Usyk. For him to ask for 500 million, it's as a nine, as a 10, as a 11, and as a 12 back up. It's absolutely ridiculous. Man, let me tell you something. The biggest fight in the sport of boxing was Floyd Mayweather versus Manny Pacquiao. You know how much each fighter made for that fight? Floyd Mayweather, TBE, made $240 million. Manny Pacquiao made $160 million. So you mean to tell me that Tyson Fury want more than Mayweather and Pacquiao made combined for their mega matchup, which to this day is the biggest fight revenue-wise in boxing history. Absolutely ridiculous. I don't know why people taking this guy serious, and I don't know why the people taking this story and running with it. If he really, really want five hundred million to fight all that Usyk, let's everybody move on. The fight's not happening. Let's look at. Who Wilder gonna fight next? Andy Ruiz finna take on Luis Ortiz. Anthony Joshua coming back in December. I'm hearing it's gonna be against Dillian White or maybe Flip Herc Herkovic. One of those two. I look at other fighters, man. Usyk, if he talking about he's either gonna fight Tyson Fury or he's not gonna fight at all, okay then give up the belts. You got George Joyce out here fighting for Joseph Parker. That could be for a vacant belt. Deontay Wilder taking on Hellenius. Robert Hellenius. That could be for a vacant belt. You know, you got, again, you got King Kong Ortiz taking on Andy Ruiz. That could be for a vacant belt or whatever. You know, you can have the winner of Andy Ruiz and Luis Ortiz take on the winner of Deontay Wilder versus Robert Hellenius. That'd be for the WBC belt. And then you have Joe Joyce taking on Jojo Parker. That'd be for the WBO belt. Daniel Dubois, who is a regular WBA champion, he could take on the highest ranked fighter in the WBA. That'd be for the WBA belt. And then the IBF can have their matchup. Herkovic is in prime position to get that belt as he fought for the eliminated when he beat Zang on the undercard of of uh, Anthony Joshua versus Alexander Usyk too. You know, he can fight the highest ranked guy for the IBF belt. Man, let's everybody move on, man. I don't think Usyk is serious. I think Usyk probably is going to continue to fight, but that's how bad he wants to fight. He's not asking for no 500 million ridiculous amount of money like a Tyson Fury is doing. Man, this is absolutely ridiculous. Man, I didn't really want to do no video about this because it's, 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 it's retarded. It's ridiculous. This dude is asking for 500 million. You don't want to fight. Just go on, stay retired, man. You know, stay retired, fight exhibitions, or wait to uh, Nanganyu contract run out with the UFC and fight him in the first quarter of 2023. That'll be a big fight. Maybe you might get close to the 500 million that you're asking to fight <laughs> Alexander Usy. You know, you're looking at the UFC fan base and the uh, boxing fan base from America and UK and abroad. Maybe you can come close to. Uh, Making 500 million. I tell you right now, he'll he have a better chance of getting 500 million fighting Naganyu than he would fighting Alexander Usyk. Now a lot of people saying, wait a minute, man, the Saudi investors they got deep pockets. Look at what look at what the money they're giving these 
golfers that were uh, playing in the PJ, giving them huge sums of money. Look at what they uh, gave Anthony Joshua and Alexander Usyk in their rematch. Yeah, that was 75 and 75 apiece. That's 150. That's not nowhere close to what Tyson Fury is asking for himself. And if he's going to get $500 million, what is Alexander Usyk going to get? He going to want at least 250. <laughs> this is ridiculous. He's talking about 750 million that the Saudis going to have to come up with. Let me ask you something, man. Let me let me uh, let me put this out there. Let me put this out there. You know how much uh, Mayweather and Pacquiao fight earned? It earned five hundred million. That's how much it earned. So the Gypsy King is asking for what Mayweather and Pacquiao produced. That's the that's the earnings of that fight. That's not what each fighter made. I told you what each fighter made: two forty for Mayweather, one sixty <laughs> for Pacquiao. They had hundred million for the promoters, and you know you had to pay the undercard fighters and. You know, you had to pay all the people that were involved in putting on that mega matchup. That was $100 million they had to split up. He wants more than what that fight earned. That's how ridiculous this is. He's not as big a star as Mayweather was at the time or Manny Pacquiao was at the time. Now, he is the number one heavyweight in the division. And you know the old saying, as goes the, as goes the heavyweight division, as goes the sport of boxing. The heavyweight division is the glamour division in the sport of boxing. You know, the top money earners for the most part campaign in the heavyweight division but for him to ask for 500 million is absolutely ridiculous when no fight in the history of boxing has even made half of that it's absolutely retarded in my opinion and it makes me uh, ask this question <laughs> is Tyson Fury Suffering from mental health, asking for five hundred million. You know he suffered from mental health in the past. I know a lot of people say, "Ah, oh, that's a low blow." JB Sports. You got people out here dealing with real life issues as far as mental health goes. And everybody's suffering through mental health. I suffer through mental health. It's how you deal with it. It's called trials and tribulation. It's called it's called life. It's called going through obstacles and overcoming those obstacles and coming out a better person for that. Going through that, learning from your experience, dealing with what you got to deal with and coming out better on the other side that's called life so it's absolutely ridiculous you know it's a non-story in my opinion and if he's really serious about that and that's the thing about it you don't know if Tyson Fury is trolling you know asking for 500 million to get headline news knowing that you know he just actually want to make more than what Joshua made and what Alexander Usyk made in that last fight and if that's the case and okay, I can understand that. Even though really he ain't as big a star as Joshua. He's not a he's a bigger star than Usyk. So Usyk got 75 million. Okay, you give him 80 million. That, that should be the starting point for their much anticipated undisputed fight. Now his promoter Frank Warren said the fight must happen this year because the mandatory is going to be getting called in the start of uh, 2023, and that means that the winner of George versus Parker will be in position to fight for. The WBO title. Well, well, whoever comes out of there will fight for Undisputed. Then you got the WBA. They'll be followed behind that. And that down you bar, he'll be looking to fight the winner. And then you still got the WBC. Whoever's come out of uh, the WBC, uh, you know, get the mandatory position. That could be a Wilder, Hellenius winner, taking on the winner of Ruiz versus Ortiz, and one of that would be the mandatory in the WBC. So you got these mandatory that are going to be coming up next year. So this fight must go down this year. And the months that they're looking at, according to uh, Tyson Fury's promoter, Frank Warren, is November and December. I would tend to lean more toward December. November, I think, is a little bit too early, especially as uh, Usyk just got through fighting, you know, last week. And for him to turn around and, you know, fight in three months, we'll be looking at all we got, we got September, October, November. You yeah, know, you would you would you assume that he probably would probably get that fight off before the holidays, that being Thanksgiving. So you're looking at the middle part of November. You know, if you want to stage that fight in November, that would be a little bit too early in my opinion. So I think December is the more likely date if the fight gets finalized. And uh we will see what happens and we will see what transpires. Follow me on Facebook, Gerard.brisco.3551. Like, share, and subscribe to JB Sports, the man, the myth, the legend. And I holler.